degenerative arthritis and stiffness due to bone spurs that affects the MTP joint at the base of the hollux is called hollux rigidus or stiff big toe. Hollux flexus was initially described by Davis Colliers in 1887 as a plantar flexed posture of phalanx relative to the metatarsal head. About the same time, Cotterell used the term hollux rigidus which is the most common term used to describe the condition in orthopedic literature. Causes this condition, which occurs in adolescents and adults, can be associated with previous trauma. The true cause is not known. Most commonly, hollux rigidus is thought to be caused by wear and tear of the first metatarsophalangeal joint. Symptoms, pain and stiffness in the joint at the base of the big toe during use, difficulty with certain activities, swelling and inflammation around the joint, although the condition is degenerative. It can occur in patients who are relatively young particularly active sports people who have at some time suffered trauma to the joint. A notable example is NBA star Shaquille O'Neal who returned to basketball after surgery. Classification In 1988, Hartroop and Johnson described the following radiographic classification system, grade I, mild changes with maintained joint space and minimal spurring. Grade II moderate changes with narrowing of joint space, bony proliferation on the metatarsophalangeal head and phalanx and subchondral sclerosis or cyst. Grade 3, severe changes with significant joint space narrowing, extensive bony proliferation and loose bodies or a dorsal ossicle. Treatment, non-surgical treatment Early treatment for mild cases of hollux rigidus may include prescription foot orthotics, shoe modifications, medications, injection therapy and or physical therapy. Surgical treatment in some cases, surgery is the only way to eliminate or reduce pain. There are several types of surgery for treatment of hollux rigidus. The type of surgery is based on the stage of hollux rigidus. Stage 1 hollux rigidus involves some loss of range of motion of the big toe joint or first MTP joint and is often treated conservatively with prescription foot orthotics. Stage 2 hollux rigidus involves greater loss of range of motion and cartilage and may be treated via chalectomy in which the metatarsal head is reshaped and bone spurs reduced. Stage 3 hollux rigidus often involves significant cartilage loss and may be treated by an osteotomy in which cartilage on the first metatarsal head is repositioned, possibly coupled with a hemi-implant in which the base of the proximal phalanx is resurfaced. Stage 4 hollux rigidus also known as end-stage hollux rigidus involves severe loss of range of motion of the big toe joint and cartilage loss. Stage 4 hollux rigidus may be treated via fusion of the joint or implant arthroplasty in which both sides of the joint are resurfaced or a hinged implant is used. Fusion of the joint is often viewed as more definitive but may lead to significant alteration of gait causing postural symptomatology. The implants termed two-part unconstrained implants in which a ball-type device is placed on the first metatarsal head and socket portion on the base of the big toe do not have a good long-term track record. The hinged implants have been in existence since the 1970s, have been continually improved and have the best record of improving long-term function. References External links Hollux Rigidus and Chalectomy at the Duke University Health Systems Orthopedics Program, minus 66,715,641 at GP Notebook, Overview at ars.org, Hollux Rigidus and Hollux Limitus, Classification and Treatment, Diagram.